Welcome to Pattern Making Class. I'm your college instructor, Annette Julie, also fashion designer and production pattern maker to the garment industry. Today we're going to be working on dart manipulation using the pivot method. We'll be working with our front full scale basic one dart bodice block. You're also going to need some pattern paper, a straight ruler, pencil, a pen, your paper scissor, an awl, or you can use your pen, I'll show you a trick. Got your pattern ruler there, and um, you can also use pattern weights, but if you don't have them, some little cans work just fine as well for pattern weights. Well, let's get started. So here's my pattern paper, and I'm going to grab my basic one dart front bodice. This is full scale. And first we're going to start by thinking where are we going to transfer this waist dart to. You can transfer it to the side seam in the French dart position or side bust. You can do it to armhole, low point of shoulder, mid shoulder, high point of shoulder, neckline, center front, center bust, waist. There are so many different places. So you've got to go ahead and decide where you're going to transfer it to. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick the side where we have the front seam position one or two inches above the waist. And I'm going to go ahead then and draw a train line on my pattern paper here. And I'm going to take my full scale bodice laying that down and I'm going to go ahead and weight that down and you can use a pencil for this I'm going to use a pencil so everybody can see and I'm going to trace off right until the first dart leg um, but when we do the pivot method, we're not transferring from this dart tip. We're going to transfer everything from the apex. So I need to mark that, mark that first dart leg, and I'm going to copy the front waist right up until that first dart leg. Now I'm going to come up here to the top, and I'm going to copy my neckline, my shoulder, my armhole with the armhole notch, right here, armhole notch. The rest of my armhole. And now I'm getting onto my side seam. And what we've done so far is we've done the grain line and I've copied off the front waist, the neckline, the shoulder, the armhole, and I'm starting to do the side seam. So we're copying everything that is not going to move. The area that is going to move is over here, where the dart is and where we have the new position. So I'm going to firm up exactly where I'm going to transfer that dart. And like I said, it could be up one inch, it could be up two inches, but I'm going to pick a measurement. And I'm going to mark it right over here coming out. Use my pen. Right here. This is where I'm going to transfer this waist dart too. So I can continue drawing the line right down to where I'm going to transfer it to. Okay, there's our, our markings. I've drawn here, the armhole, the shoulder, we have our center front drawn, all the way up to the first dart leg notch. Now you may take your awl and use that here for pivoting, but you can also use your pen so that you don't put a hole through your table. 
Okay, you could also use a pencil. Now I'm going to do the pivot part where I take this dart and I close it right up until where we have our first notch. Right there, notch on top of notch. I'm gonna weight that down. Now it would have been helpful if I drew a line out here so you guys could see, so let me go ahead and add that line in there. That's where the notch is, that's where the first dart leg was. Now what I've done is I've closed the dart here. It doesn't exist there anymore. So now, since I've closed it, I can trace off the rest of the waist, and I can trace off until where I have up here on the side seam, two inches is what I've decided. Trace off right to there. And we've transferred from our apex, we've done the pivoting, Let's lift this up and see what it looks like. We've put our dart in this area, but you can't tell until you connect the apex to that new dart opening. And then we also need to back off from our apex this is our apex. Now we're going to need to back off one inch to put the real dart legs in. Let's go back one inch. Let's find the middle of that line, that space there. Let's see, that space looks like it's about five eighths. I'm going to draw the middle, and now I'm going to connect the dart legs that, that we would sew. The dart legs to the apex are for pivoting only. We would never sew a dart all the way to the apex unless we want a really pointed bust mound, which we don't. So now we've transferred that dart to our French dart side seam position, but we're also not finished. We need to fill in what's happening over here. I'm going to go ahead and fold the dart on the tip and then I'm going to crease my lower dart leg just a little bit and these are the inner dart legs that ones that go to the dart tip there's the apex way out there so I'm creasing that that dart leg and I'm going to lift it up and place it onto the other dart leg. I'm going to fold this down and I'm going to line up my side seam and my dart legs. You can weight this and we have a couple little pattern corrections out here. You could also use tape. If you grab some tape, place it on the back of your hand there a little bit. It becomes a little bit like magic tape, so it'll come up and down without ripping. We're gonna correct that side seam from the bottom of the armhole to the waist and straighten that out. Look, it just comes out like an eighth of an inch there little slight correction. Now you could use a tracing wheel or you could just fold it on that line that you drew and it can show you what what this is going to look like. We could also cut this if we wanted to but I've just done a little light fold.
if we were going to keep the whole dart intake in, this is what it would look like on our side seam. We would, of course, need to add seam allowance, and we would need to duplicate the pattern on the other side or make a facing, what have you. But this is our one dart pivot transfer, and we're going to add a grain line now. Parallel with the one that you already made, arrows both directions. And this is our pivot method. One dart transfer to French dart. Always great to have your name and a date on your pattern as well. And we have finished our pattern for now. In another video, we will put on some seam allowance. This is Annette Julie, and I look forward to having you watch another one of my videos. Please subscribe. Have a great day.